son of gold, save my mind, and you don't I give as you receive, and a joy lives is Satan. This is the first part in the series about psychotherapy. This is the purpose of psychotherapy, how to manifest immortality. And uh, let's let's do an introduction. Psychotherapy is the only form of therapy there is. Since only the mind can be sick, only the mind can be healed. Only the mind is in need of healing. This does not appear to be the case for the manifestations of this world seem real indeed. Psychotherapy is necessary so that an individual can begin to question their reality. Sometimes he is able to start to open his mind without formal help, but even then it is always some change in his perception of interpersonal relationships that enable him to do so. Sometimes he needs he needs a more structured, extended relationship with an official therapist. Either way, the task is the same. The patient must be helped to change his mind about the reality of illusions. Very simply, the purpose of psychotherapy is to remove the blocks to truth. Its aim is to aid the patient in abandoning his fixed delusional system and to begin to reconsider the spurious cause and effect relationships on which it rests. No one in this world escapes fear, but everyone can reconsider its causes and learn to evaluate them correctly. God has given everyone a teacher whose wisdom and help far exceeds whatever contribution an earthly therapist can provide. Yet, there are times and situations in which an earthly patient-therapist relationship becomes the means through which he offers his greater gifts to both. What better purpose could any relationship have than to invite the Holy Spirit to enter into it and give it his own great gift of rejoicing? What higher goal could there be for anyone that is to learn to call upon God and hear his answer? And what more transcended aim can there be than to recall the way, the truth, and the life, and to remember God? To help in this is the proper purpose of psychotherapy. Would anything be holier? For psychotherapy correctly understood teaches forgiveness and helps the patient to recognize and accept it. And in his healing is the therapist forgiven with him. Everyone who needs help, regardless of the form of his distress, is attacking himself and his peace of mind is suffering in consequence. These tendencies are often described as self-destructive and the patient often regards them in that way himself. What he does not realize and needs to learn is that this self which can attack and be attacked as well is a concept he made up. Further, it cherishes it, defends it, defends it, and is sometimes even willing to sacrifice his life on its behalf, for he regards it as himself and this self, he says, as being acted on, reacting to external forces as they demand and helpless meets the power of the world. Psychotherapy then must restore to his awareness the ability to make his own decisions. He must become willing to reverse his thinking and to understand that what he thought projected its effects on him were made by his projections of the world. The world he sees does therefore not exist. The world he sees does therefore not exist until this is at least in part accepted. 
the patient cannot see himself as really capable of making decisions and uh, he will fight against his freedom because he thinks that it is slavery. The patient need not think of truth as God in order to make progress in salvation, but he must begin to separate truth from illusion, recognizing that they are not the same and becoming increasingly willing to see illusions as false and to accept the truth as true. His teacher will take him on from there as far as he is ready to go. Psychotherapy can only save him time. The Holy Spirit uses time as he thinks best, and he is never wrong. Psychotherapy under his direction is one of the means he uses to save time and to prepare additional teachers for his work. There is no end to the help he begins and he directs. By whatever routes he chooses, all psychotherapy leads to God in the end. But that is up to him. We are all his psychotherapists, for he would have us all be healed in him. Thanks, son of God.